back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. As usual, I'm your host, Mark Pierce. What do we got going on today? It is Tuesday, July 14th. A couple of mentions before we get started. Uh, this guy, David Bearwald, just turned 60. I don't know if anyone knows who David Bearwald is. He could be a Wednesday topic, but that would be down the road. But anyway, he was half of the Davids in the band David and David. If anyone remembers that song, Boomtown. Uh, in the early mid 80s. Uh, I did become a big fan of his when he put out some solo stuff which was in the form of just some EPs that I got uh, as promotional items in the 1990s. So I might be the only one with some of his stuff. Also today, today is the 25th anniversary of the opening of the Meadows Music Theater in Hartford. A uh, swath of land that was really um, just abandoned and forgotten and no one wanted and they put this uh, theater there and we've all seen tons of great concerts at the Meadows. The first person to perform, Michael Bolton in The Scorching Heat. Uh, he was friends with Jim Coplick who was uh, responsible for all that. So uh, anyway, happy 25th anniversary Meadows Music Theater. Some of you hate that theater for various reasons but we have seen a lot of great shows there. So what do we got going on today? Uh, we did a ton of classic rock the last couple of weeks, and obviously we're the Rock Cave, but I have said that um, I am a huge fan of new wave music from the 80s. Uh, that's what I was raised on, synthesizers, guitars, whatever. Uh, it's near and dear to my heart still to this day. So uh, we're going to do some of that as we go along. It's just the, I go by the calendar, and a lot of that stuff hasn't come on up yet, but it will. But if you go back to the beginning who of who was right on the edge of that type of music, you have to go with up there with this band right here. So, Ian Curtis, uh, he had a birthday today, or has a birthday today. Uh, who's Ian Curtis? He is the singer and founding member of the band Joy Division. Now, Do Joy Division, very short career, only two albums, but very influential. <coughs> Formed in 1976 in England, uh, the, these cats met at a Sex Pistols concert and decided to form their own band. Seems like a lot of people went to Sex Pistols concerts in the late 70s and decided to become a band and became successful. That seems to be a recurring story. Um, so they put out their first album in 1979, Unknown Pleasures. Uh, it's a success. They started off as a punk band, but they really turned into more of this type of music at, by that point. Um, it's not a success on the charts, but this indie label kind of puts them on the map and people are starting to get attention and they actually end up putting out a non-album single called Transmission which is hugely influential to bands. I mean, if you ask bands now about Joy Division, that all these people will say that they were influenced by it from U2 to Nine Inch Nails. Um, just all these people just say that they, they are influenced because of it. Um, and Transmission you can hear on First Waved to this day. I did not know about that song until I got First Waved some 10 years ago, but I really like that song a lot. So their success is going up by 79. They're starting to get more attention. And Ian Curtis has a combination of depression, anxiety, and uncontrolled seizures. So he actually has seizures on the stage during performances. And the, band, the, the people in the crowd just think it's part of his act. But the band is getting increasingly worried uh, about him. Uh, and he is known for not really interacting with the, with the crowd as well. Um, they have two TV appearances only ever. They had one early on and then one national one on BBC uh, in November of 1979. So they're touring with the Buzzcocks. They put out another album. It's called Closer. That comes out early in 1980. And they put out another non-album single. I don't know what the deal is with these non-album singles. but And that one uh, is basically... Um, Another one that is considered very influential, right? So they're getting ready to tour the United States. It's a big deal. Um, they're starting to get attention. They're on the eve of their first show in the United States, and Ian Curtis commits suicide. The band is devastated. They released the single Love Will Tear Us Apart, which was about to be coming out in June of that year. Um, and that's their first huge hit. Uh, and it went to number 13 in the UK and number 42 in the United States. And that's basically the legacy of that band itself because 
uh, he was really, they were really on their way up, and that song is a great song. Immediately after that, the remaining band members, this is important, they form a new band right away, pretty much, and that band is New Order, right? New Order, hugely popular. 1983, they put out their single Blue Monday in a 12-inch form, and that changes music forever. It is named the, the 38th most acclaimed song of all time. Um, everyone has sampled it. Everyone, I mean, it's been re-released in the UK in different formats a million times, and it charts every time. Two million copies sold. This is just a huge hit. Uh, they went on with some other hits. Bizarre Love Triangle um, was another one that I really like, but that one is really, everyone knows Blue Monday. And then why do you know it? Because you remember when Orgy did it again as a remake, and that version of that song is also excellent. I mean, that's a great version. I'm not always a big fan of remakes. It has to be very, very particular about that, but that one is a great one. So there you go. That's basically the story of Ian Curtis and Joy Division and the influence of post-punk new wave music. So what are we doing for Song of the Day today? It's pretty clear. I don't have a lot to choose from. They only had two albums, right? But we're doing Love Will Tear Us Apart by Joy Division, Ian Curtis. Check it out. This is a song you'll still hear regularly on XM Radio. Love this song. Turn it up. Enjoy it today. We'll be back with you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We know what Wednesdays are. A little bit different stuff on Wednesdays. And this weekend, we have a special anniversary coming up. It's going to be my 100th episode on Sunday. So you have to tune in on Saturday with some instructions because we're going to do something special uh, this weekend for the 100th anniversary. So stay tuned. Uh, keep watching. Don't forget I've got YouTube channel and Instagram for those of you who aren't on Facebook all the time. Uh, tell me what you think about this song. Tell me what your memories are. And as usual, have a great day and we will see you on the flip side.